morning guys I wanted to, to make a little reflection video um, not just self-reflection but a reflection of this world in general and um, what I'm seeing regarding the different political ideas that are being used by people based on their suffering situations labels identity things of that nature whether you're transitioning whether you're detransitioning whether you're an atheist whether you believe in god or have a certain religion you follow i find that humanity overthinks things you know over analyzes and I'm guilty of this myself I mean I guess that's what the brain is for but during these days these times that we're living in it seems to be an overdrive it really it really does I see the the sort of haunting would be a word I guess I could use that most people face based on the decisions that they've made whether the decision was to transition they try to make themselves into a victim they try to pathologize it they try to give it a a diagnosis then they pull out the violin and it's the violin of life so that they could get attention, so they could be the victim, so they could get sympathy from others, so that they could justify what they do. And then you have the other spectrum on that are detransitioners that are angry, and, and rightfully so, I understand, been there. But my point is, you know, there's like, whether you're a victim on one spectrum or the other, trying to blame others for what you did, you know, and not taking responsibility, not having the ability to, to freely say, look, I did this because at the time it felt the right thing to do for whatever reasons. We don't have to pathologize something. We don't have to always be a victim regarding our choices. Taking responsibility of the choices that you make is imperative for your spiritual growth, which I believe that's the only reason we are here, that we are human, we're spirits having a human experience. And these bodies help us have that experience. We're like the little gizmo on a game board, right? That it's picked up and you throw the dice and you move a couple of spaces. That's how we collect the knowledge, the wisdom, the stories that we make here. It's energy. Everything's energy. We're energy. And we all try to create our stories and we all try to create the gods that we believe in. You know? And we fight amongst each other when we don't agree about the things that we're creating or the things that we're saying. It's... I know that it's the orchestra the theatrical production that we're putting out there. But I think we're taking it way too seriously. We point fingers at each other, and I'm guilty of that. You know, I can admit I've been guilty of that. It's all part of the role that we're playing at the time that we're playing it. But if we talk, stop taking life so seriously and understand that this is... It's like a game. It's like a ride. A ride that we chose to get on. And we chose to feel the things that we're feeling. And we chose to do the things that we're doing. And be empowered. Don't be disempowered. Don't sit there and pull out that violin and want everybody to feel sorry for you. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy what you're doing. Make the best story that you can make.
this whole concept of fearing a place of fire, of fearing where your soul's going to go, doesn't allow you to live. And you're here to gather, gather information, gather experiences, feelings, feel the pain, feel the joy, be the human that you are. That's the conclusion I've come to anyway. After all these years, after all the D-trans, trans, religion, not religion, I've come to the conclusion that it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to sin. It's okay to have pain. It's okay to be happy. It's okay to explore. Take advantage while you're still here, while you have these bodies. The only one that judges you is you and those people around you. There's no wrong, there's no right, there's just experiences. And it's taken me this long to finally figure that out. Some will suffer more than others. Whatever contracts they came with, whatever it is that they had to deal with, they're playing it out right here. So... If you choose to transition, transition well. If you choose to detransition, detransition well, but don't make it about others. Don't try to blame people. Don't try to justify your situation by because I did this, because of that, because they dropped me on my head. Yes, we all face trauma. I've come to the conclusion there's not one human being alive that does not have some sort of childhood trauma, some sort of issue. We all have it. We all do. Because we are imperfect while we're wearing these suits. And that's okay. That is part of the rules of the game. If you were perfect and you knew everything, then there wouldn't be a game. Then we wouldn't be life. It, it wouldn't be any fun. And I know people are going to criticize what I'm saying. But that's okay too. Because you're entitled to do you and you're entitled to your thoughts. Is I'm entitled to do me and I'm entitled to my thoughts. And I just put this little camera on here and speak away of what I feel and think. And I know that's changed throughout the years. And that's okay too. Because I don't know if you noticed lately, nothing is static in the world. Everything's dynamic. Everything changes. Just wait for it and it'll change again. Because that's life. All right, guys, I love you, but remember to always love yourselves too. Bye-bye.